Yo, what's going on guys? So before the video starts real quick, I just want to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel. You guys already know I just recently hit 90k like a day ago. And we already had 91.3, bro. It's actually a madness. Like, this is crazy, bro. This is actually crazy. So I'm trying to hit 100,000 by next Thursday, okay? So by next Thursday, let's try and hit 100,000. So if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, you know, you know what I'm saying? Show some love to the boy and subscribe. Hit the like button as well. If we get 1,000 likes, I'll do a video like showing the mode or showing the locations for all these modes. I wanted to do it for this video, but I felt like it was going to be too long. Long, and I just didn't want to put all that or like cram all that into one singular video definitely leave a like if you guys want to see that I'll probably drop that tomorrow and uh, yeah, let's get on to the video now Protect the village and the Uchiha lane See you friend I leave the rest To you Yo, what's going on guys? So welcome back to another video. How y'all doing today? Hopefully y'all doing good, okay? Hopefully y'all are having a wonderful day, you feel me? I'm having a great day, you know what I'm saying? Thanks for asking. You didn't. But um, so as you guys seen from the title, you know, we about to do an all modes showcase video. So basically I think I did all the modes or all the Jin keys in my last video or one of my last few videos. So I don't know if I'm going to showcase those. So if you want to watch this, uh, basically just click the link on the top right and it'll take you to that video. Or I can put it in the description down below. Because I already did all these. So if I do these again, it's probably going to take a while. And plus, all, I got all the locations in this video as well. So definitely, for sure, go watch that video. Because that will show you where all the gins spawn and like everything about the gins. So yeah, um, this video is just going to be me showing you guys the regular modes that don't have anything to do with gins. So like, you know, Gate, Seven Heavens, Curse Mark, Lightning Club. Like these, you know, these few modes down here, you feel me? So we're, let's just get straight into it. Um, I'll show you guys, I would show you guys the locations and all, but that's going to make this video really, really long. And, uh, you know, because they're all in like different servers and stuff. So um, I'm probably, the next video I make after this one, I'll show you guys all the locations for them and everything because I feel like that just makes sense. You know, I don't want to keep y'all waiting on, on it. Like I'm trying to push these out as fast as possible, you feel me? So I definitely don't want to keep you waiting, especially if you want to find these like really fast, you feel me? So let me just show you guys what these do real quick. And then, uh, yeah, the next video after that, I'll show you guys uh, where to get them and everything like that. So bet, let's go. So um, the first one that we have coming up is actually eight gates, okay? And eight gates. Eight gates is pretty fire in my opinion because it actually has seven different or eight different um, forms you can go into, obviously like in the show. And um, after I think after the fifth form, uh, the spec moves are actually pretty different. And like, bro, it's so dope. So let me show you. Uh, the first move, the first like form, the first form to like the fifth is like just a basic like attack move. It's not basic. I mean, it looks really really cool. But it's like those. Are, that's the basic strength combat string for um, gates. And I'm pretty sure. It might change up your some of your Taijutsu moves too, if I'm not mistaken. It might change up this. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let me. Oh yeah, definitely did. Definitely did. Yeah. So now when I use, when I have gates activated, it actually teleports me instead of uh, just shooting down at them with the kick. That's pretty cool. So the Z spec from one to five is this. Oh yeah, there you go. So I just basically just do a long combo barrage, and I mean, bro, you as you can see, it's pretty. It's pretty fire. It's pretty fire. And then like this again, teleport, bro. The Taijutsu moves go crazy, especially if you have gates on. Look at the uh, look at the buff, right? This is only the first mode, so obviously it's not too big of a buff. It's 700 HP, 1,700 Tai, uh, 1,100 Nin, and 1,000 Chakra. So it's not that much, you know? But since the first to fifth um, have the same Z-Spec move, I'll show you guys the sixth. Oh my god, yo, can you chill, my boy? God damn, chill out. Oh my goodness, bro. So uh, Z6, so yeah, if you want to go through the modes, just press Z. And then any number from 1 to 8. So hold Z and then press any number from 1 to 8. That's exactly how you go through the forms. So now let's move on to, you know, this move right here. Okay, so it's, oh my god, bro. Can you chill? I'm killing you first right off the bat, bro. You dying. Look at this. Oh my god, yo. Look at this damage, big man. Oh my god. And then, bro, you start teleporting with your punches too. So if you're kind of near them and you start attacking, it'll kind of like teleport you that. Well, it didn't do it that time, but it'll, it'll sort of teleport. Oh, I'm getting jumped. Oh, I'm getting jumped. Oh my god, so yeah, this um this stat boost is 1,500 HP, 2,800 Tai, 2,200 Nin, and 2,100 Chakra. So now let's move on to Z, I think Z7. And this move is actually pretty cool as well. Like, I really like this move. I'm pretty sure this is the Gate of Wonder, if I'm not mistaken. Cor correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. So this Z spec, oh my god, don't get me started, bro. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. You gotta aim it and then bow. Bro, 52k damage. That did 52k damage. Like, bro, are you, are you serious? Oh, that's insane, bro. That is insane, my boy. Like, 
let's just take a minute to acknowledge how crazy that is, okay? That is clean, bro. So, Gates is pretty nice. And then they obviously have the Gate of Death. Uh, the only thing I wish they did with Gates was, like, kind of make your, like, skin a, a bit, like, a darker shade of red every time you would, uh, what's it called? Every time you would... I, oh, actually, let me do this boss quest. Hello? Uh, why can't I talk to my mans right here? Alright. Alright. Can I talk to him? Okay, so I can talk to him, but I can't talk to the boss. But Alright. That's the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes. Can you defeat Minato? Oh, God. Minato is OP. Oh my god, but yeah, so what I wish they did was uh, they made your skin a bit like, a bit darker shade of gray or red um, Whenever you went farther into the gates because as of right now, I mean as you see like, you know I'm, I'm, I'm not really I'm the same skin tone, which is it's all right You know, I like to be black and stuff But like you feel me like it, with gates like, you know, it kind of transforms you into like red basically So here's the gate of death. So now bow and you get this nice cool looking red aura Which is pretty nice and here's the z-spec for that Bow. You do a uh, night guy basically and you just charge at them and yeah, how much damage is that? I didn't even get to see and uh, your exp boost or your stat boost is 2,000 HP 3,500 tie 2,200 nin and then 2,700 chakra. So hey gate of death. Oh my god gate of death is nice Gate of and it doesn't even take your health either look like my health is not going down at all So uh, you know, it's 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 it's, it's pretty nice like I like gates a lot actually It's one of my favorite modes Besides Curse Mark, because um, yeah, I, I just like Curse Mark a lot from the show. Like, just from a series standpoint, Curse Mark was definitely one of my favorites, just because it was so dope. But from this game standpoint, I think Lightning Cloak's one of the best modes, in my honest opinion. Oh my god, he almost threw that at me. Alright, so enough of Gates. Now we're moving on to uh, Seven Heavens, and Seven Heavens is pretty cool too, because it has, it has a nice little uh, JoJo's reference mixed in with it, which I definitely enjoy. I feel like a lot of JoJo's fans would probably enjoy that too. So let me activate this real quick. I'm going to have to reset, because my mode bar is already like a little less than halfway. So, so actually, this has uh, three modes. Uh, so if you do Z2, you go into, you know, I guess an upped version or a stronger version, and then Z3 is Val. So the max stats that this gives you is 1,000. 800 HP, 3,200 Tai, 2,500 Nin, and 2,500 Chakra. So, I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Obviously, not compared to 8 Gates, but, I mean, 8 Gates is 8 Gates. Like, what do you expect, you feel? But you get a nice speed boost from this as well. And uh, here is the Z-Spec. Um, so you start teleporting around them and start whooping them 1,300 damage, which is pretty you, you think it's not that much, right? But it, it adds up because you're punching them consistently and it just adds up. So, hey, hey, 7 Heavens is pretty clean. Um, I'm pretty sure this might change some of your time moves as well. Let me see. Uh, oh, actually, no, it didn't. Oh, okay. Dang. <laughs> I was expecting it to change. I know I, it might change something. I can't really remember because I don't use Seven Heavens that much. I mostly use Lightning Mode, like I said earlier. Like, Lightning Mode is my favorite mode, so I mostly use that one. But, uh, yeah, Seven Heavens is still pretty good, though, especially the Z-Spec right here. Yeah, sorry, they can't even... And you can still attack with that, too. So, imagine... If you have your Susano, you can M1. You can still... Oh, my God. Minato, can you hop off me, dude? Oh, my goodness. So, you can still M1 while doing the Z-Spec at the same time. So, if you have your Susano... Yo! <laughs> if you have your Susano out, you can still click this while you're still... Uh, what's it called? While your Z-Spec is hitting um, the whoever you're fighting. So, let me show you guys, for example, right? Let me come down to Minato right here. Let me do my Z-Spec. And I can still do the Susano hits... And I still keep teleporting to him even after it, bro. And it's it, bro. It just goes crazy. Like Susano hits do a lot of damage too. Like a hit, a punch from a Susano is probably like what is that? Like 10k, I think. So if you can get two full combo strings off, which is basically four hits. Uh, let me think. That's like four, four times 10k. That's already 40k. So if you do it twice, that's 80k. Plus the damage from Seven Heavens. Yeah, you're gonna be OP. You're gonna be OP, bro. You're gonna be OP. So that's Seven Heavens. Now moving on to what else is there? Okay, we moving on to Curse Mark now. Okay, big boy territory. Big boy territory. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Well, I mean, honestly, if I'm being real, I think Gates is probably better than Seven Heaven. Or Gates is probably better than uh, Curse Mark in this game. Like, no lie, I feel like I feel like Gates is one of the best modes you can get in this game. Like besides Lightning Mode and Sage Mode and all that, Gates is like the best. Uh, I guess if you want to say like regular mode, like Gates is yeah, yeah, that's probably number one, honestly. So let's mode up real quick. I bet you see the nice little cool looking transformation effect. Hold on. Let me let me let me show y'all again because I feel like y'all didn't appreciate that the first time. Look at that. Look at that. Hold on. Oh my it, oh, it shows on your side. Oh my goodness, bro. That's clean. And it takes off um your accessories and stuff. So you know now my character looking pretty clean, you know, looking kind of naked, you feel me? And the, the curse mark just appears all over your character's body. You know, it appears on half his face, which I think is a very, very nice touch. 
So, uh, let me actually equip, uh, what's it called, Taiju Simu to show you guys a nice combo I like to do, right? So, here's the Z-Spec. Oh, actually, before that, here's the stat bonus. It's 1,500 HP, 1,500 Tai, 1,700 Nin, and 1,500 Chakra. So, it's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's alright, you know, it's not anything crazy, but it's okay. So, here's the Z-Spec. It's like Shidori Nagashi, except, you know, 24,000 damage, which is pretty good, you know, pretty, pretty good, especially for... The, the Z spec for Curse Mark is pretty good, so I definitely, you guys already know. I already just like the aesthetics of Curse Mark. Like, Curse Mark is just a dope mode, in my opinion. Like, it just looks cool, and it is strong. Like, bro, Curse Mark is dope. All right, so that was a Z spec. So, what I like to do with it is I like to combo them, and then do a Taijutsu move, and then do the Z spec right after. Oh, I don't know why I flipped away. All right, but basically, usually you'll be able to do that. You'll usually be able to do your Z spec right after that. So, now moving on to, oh my god, Minato, please chill, bro. Chill, why are you doing so much damage, bro? No, 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 stop. <laughs> stop. So let's do Z2. Now I got my wings. Yeah, it wasn't a, a dramatic transformation. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, Minato. You want to be like that, bro? All right. Well, basically, yeah, as you guys can see, you can fly. If you hold space, you can fly. If you hold X, you can descend. And it's, it's pretty clean. You don't fly like crazy fast. It's pretty decent, though. So, I mean, it's pretty nice. You feel me? If you run out of stamina, it'll make you fall. But uh, it actually takes quite a bit of your stamina, too. Like, uh, it takes a lot of stamina. I ain't gonna lie. It does. It does. It does. So, you got to use it pretty wisely. And uh, this Z spec, I actually like. I wish they swapped the Z specs for the stage 2 curse mark and stage 1. Because I just like the way stage 1 looks more than stage 2. You feel me? Like, not even in, not, not in just a game. I mean, like, in the entire series, like, stage 1 curse mark is the coolest mode like ever bro like it just looks so cool you just get the marks all around your body it's so dope and then you got stage two with the big wings and it's not bad or nothing but like bro the curse the stage two or stage one oh my god but yeah so let's see uh the z spec is like a nice little like chidori thing where it just dashes at you so let me press z and it'll just go dashing 29,000 damage it's not that bad it's pretty good it's something slight something light you know what i'm saying all right come over here minato all right i'm sick okay all right never mind all right, let me just get out of here. You know, let me skedaddle. You know what I'm saying? And, and look at my stamina just melting away, bro, melting away. So yeah, that's Curse Mark. That's basically it for Curse Mark. Moving on to the best mode in this entire game. Okay, let's not even lie. The best mode, not including Jins. Okay, not including Jins. Lightning Cloak is the best mode. Maybe even you could stretch it to Jins depending on how you use the Lightning Mode. But, bro, this is probably number one best mode in this game, bro. I'm telling you. Alright, so bam, look at me. Oh my god. First of all, look at the speed boost, okay? Look at look at how fast I'm zooming. I, I'm going crazy. And then if I activate Sharingan, okay? If I activate Sharingan, then I go even more crazy. So now I'm extra zooming, okay? And then, to put the little, you know, cherry on top, icing on the cake, right? Let me put this on. Let me equip this right here. Oh, uh, that was an accident. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Crazy. If I, put, if I equip this move right here, look at how fast I go with all of them stacked. Look, bro, look, look, I'm zooming, bro. Oh, my God, yo. The only reason I slowed down there is because I hit the tree because I was moving so fast. But, like, besides that, bro, oh, my, I would have been, like, I would have been far by now. Like, it's actually so insane. It's so insane how fast you move with this. And so, the move itself for uh, the Z-Spec for it is actually really good, too. So, let me show you. Bam, 44,000 damage plus the, plus the, what's it called, the 6K for, uh, I guess, extra damage. I don't even know. But that was basically like 50k damage just from this one move. So if you obviously if you stack it with other things, yeah, you best believe. Oh, he's dead. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, did he even spawn his thing? I mean, I already got it, but like I I've noticed the uh, companions are a bit harder to get now. To be honest, I, I don't know. Is that just me? Like they definitely seem a bit harder than before. But anyways, though. Yeah. So yeah, lightning cloak as y'all saw, bro. Lightning cloak is clean. If you combo it with everything else as well, if you put Susano on or. If you put the iron, uh, iron sand move as well, oh my god, you will actually go crazy. It's actually stupid. It's actually stupid how how crazy it is, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, 29k damage. That's what this stacked on too. And also the stat bonus is uh, what's it called? 2,200 HP, 3,000 chakra, 3,000 nin, and 3,000 um, what's it called? Tie. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So it's it goes insane, bro. It goes insane. Like everything you get a 3,000 buff in. So. Yeah, lightning cloak mode. Do not sleep on this, bro. He's already dead. Oh, my God, bro. He's actually already dead. Like, <laughs> this makes me want to cry. It's so good. All right, so now um, it's the, all gins from here. So now we move on to Toad Sage. So this one, hey, man, don't sleep on my boy Toad Sage, Toad Sage bro. It's a, it, it's a decent mode, honestly. I feel like it's probably, uh, let me see. It might be like third or second best out of the ones I'll show you guys. I'll make a tier list for, for all of them. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll definitely make a tier list either today or tomorrow to show you guys, but... You know, this Sage mode right here, 
hey, don't sleep on this either, bro. Just, just don't sleep on any of them, really. Like, I've said that a lot. But they're all so good, though. Like, I swear to you. So, here's the Z-Spec for Curse, or for um, Sage Mode. Oh, actually, before that, the stat bonus is um, 2,200 HP, 2,800 Tai, 2,500 Nin, and 2,500 Chakra. So, you know, you go kind of crazy with it, right? So, here's the Z-Spec. So, let's come over here. Nice little big, big toad, you know, and then... Bam, slices you up. Uh, I don't think I got to saw. I got to see how much damage that did, but I'm assuming it's pretty good because whenever um, I fight the creator of the game in a close community, he has a, he's the first sage in the close community version of this game. Yeah, he 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 caught my cheeks with that. You know he does because he's it's OP. It's actually so crazy how strong this is. Like let me show you guys again. I don't really have an NPC to try it on now though, but uh, you know, let me go in the leaf village actually. Let me try this. Bow. You know what I'm saying? Yes sir. Yes sir. Does a nice little spin move. Hey, it's clean. I would say try and get them in a stun combo. Uh, maybe if you have Genjutsu, you could stun them. And then you could do this because uh, it could do some pretty decent damage with it. So, um, yeah, I definitely recommend this. Or maybe if somebody's running from you, you could definitely pop this as well because, you know, this is kind of fast and it's big. So, uh, basically, they're just, you know, they, they stand no chance with it. You know, they stand no chance. And it's not even that big of a cooldown either. So, Toad Sage is actually underrated, I feel like. It's definitely underrated. So, next, on, next up, moving on to uh, what's after Toad Sage? We got, okay, we got the base mode. Now, the base mode ain't nothing special, to be honest. Like, this is the first mode you get you get in-game, and anybody can get it. I'm pretty sure there's a level requirement for it, of course, but you don't have to find it or anything like that. You already have it. You just need to unlock it. I think it's like 55k Ryo or something, so it's nothing crazy. You know, just you just activate it, and uh, it just boosts your stats. So you get 2,000 HP, 2,000 Tai, 2,000 Nin, and 2,000 Chakra. And then, yeah, this is like, picture Storm 4. Where uh, maybe the characters that didn't actually have forms to transform into in the show, in Storm 4, they would uh, make their awakening some something where they just got a bit stronger. And they basically, it kind of looks similar to this, where they had like a blue aura around them. It's something like that. You know, it doesn't have a Z spec or nothing. It's just, it's just this. Yeah, it's just this. So this is, that's, that's this form. So next, moving on to, uh, oh, 100 Seals. So 100 Seals is actually really good. Uh, this is the one I have in Closed Community. And uh, this, yeah, I'm OP with this. Now, you would think, oh, it's kind of trash, you know, because, oh, Tsunade and Sakura are bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever whatever you want to say about Sakura and Tsunade. But this mode is still good, though. Like, I don't even care. It doesn't heal you uh, like, like the ones in the show, but it actually does something even better, okay? It does a slam move, okay? So, basically, oh, the Akatsuki, okay, okay. So, basically, it does a slam move, right? If you press the Z move, uh, actually, before that, the stat bonus is 2,200 HP, 2,750 tie. 1,800 Nin and 1,800 Chakra. So, if you press the Z move, uh, you basically jump in the air and it just slams down on the opponents, right? So, let's go over here. Now, big AoE. 57k damage. 57k damage, bro. Do not ever sleep on this just because you think, oh, Sakura is bad. Oh, you know, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that, okay? This is actually pretty good. This is a good, this is a good, like, Z spec and it's a good mode as well. Like, it's pretty decent. It's probably, it's definitely up there for some of the best modes in the game. Yo, get out of here, man. What are you doing, bro? Get out of here. <laughs> I didn't even get to use it again because the first hit I did, you know, with the Z-Spec, took like 57k health. So it's like, dang. Like, what can you really do with that? And and, and close community, I slap with that, bro. It's actually crazy because this is it's just such a good AoE. If people are on you, you just do it and everyone just gets flung. Like, it's, I, oh my god. Yo, do not sleep on this one at all. Bro, I think I said don't sleep on it for every single one of these, but it's true. <laughs> it's just true. It's true, they're all pretty good. Like, all of them have, like, their their pros and cons. But, I mean, most of them don't really have that many cons, you know? They're actually all mostly pretty good. Like, what can I say? You know, I'm, I'm just saying. All right, so I think there's one more. Yeah, so one last one. Actually, hold on. Let me make sure there isn't a... Oh, okay, never mind. I just had to make sure there wasn't a Z2 for a sec. I thought I was tripping. So the last one is Demon Hunter, okay? And I think this is, like, Zabu's S form from the show. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen somebody use this on me like once or twice like I haven't really uh, I haven't used this that much myself uh, You know cuz I, I don't know I, I just prefer all the other modes to it because you know who wouldn't want to be like sage Who wouldn't want to use sage mode over you know this mode to be on like let's be real right so let me activate it. I'm pretty sure it puts you to sleep or it puts people to sleep I'm pretty sure I think that's a Z spec so let me try it yeah, it makes him like kind of scared. It makes him puts him like in a scared animation for like a second. It's kind of like what Zabuza like. He had this mode in Storm 4 too. I'm pretty sure, and I, I definitely like this. But uh, you know, it's obviously not like my favorite mode or anything. But it's still pretty good. Yo, that was a big cooldown though. Dang, was that like 35 seconds or something? Oh my goodness, yo. So the stat boost is uh 2,100 HP, 2,550 uh, tie, 
2,500 Nin and 2,300 Chakra. So, hey man, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't think it changes. Oh, wow, my mode ran out. Well, that's perfect timing, I guess. But yeah, I don't think it changed anything in terms of like my Taijutsu or like Ninjutsu moves or nothing like that. Like uh, like how Gates would do. I think Gates is the only one that does that, um, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know down below if, if I'm wrong, but like I'm pretty sure Gates is the only one that does that. So that's all the modes in Shinobi Life 2 as of right now. They're probably going to add more in the future, most likely. Like you'll definitely see more modes later on in the future. But for right now, this is all the modes. If you want to see the gins, like I said earlier, just go watch the other video I made on them. I put their locations and everything in that video as well. So uh, yeah, go check that out. And if you guys want the locations for this video or for these um, modes, for the regular modes, then uh, let's try and get a thousand likes on the video and I'll definitely make that. It's probably going to come out tomorrow in all honesty. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Later.